but I think deep down I'm an evangelist. <laughs> Uh, if you can just read uh, Ephesians, please. Okay. I'll, 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 no. Chapter 1, verse 3 to 5, please. Something, yeah. Amen. You can stop there for now. We're going to read on the same chapter from verse 17 and verse 18. So my message tonight, I've entitled this Christ Consciousness. So we have prayed, we have fasted, but now we have laid the foundation for the year. But now we need to continue. But in order for us to continue in 2019, we need to be conscious of who Christ is in us and who we are in Christ. Where we have read, it says that having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. So I'd like to believe as we are sitting here that we are all children of God. We have all said, Christ, come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. So all of us, we are sons. We are sons of God and we are in Christ. So as we continue to, to go on with life, we shouldn't just stop here at the foundation. When you are building a house, you don't stop at foundation level. You continue to lay the bricks. You lay the bricks. You do the windows. You, put, you do the electricity. You do the roofing. You do the electricity. You do everything in the house in order for it to be comfortable. So right now, we've been in the 10 days of fasting and praying, and we just want to build ourselves up in the Lord. We want to strengthen ourselves up in the Lord. We want to understand who we are in the Lord. We want to understand that Christ in us, the hope of glory. Greater is he that is in us than in the world. Whenever you are going situ through situations in the earth, you've got to remember that Christ has already overcame because you are in him. The word of God says they overcame him by the word of their, by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. So we need to understand that we are in Christ and therefore we can never lose. And we, if, even if we have battles, we need to understand that this battle that I am in, I am coming from a place of victory. It's already been won, even though I'm in a battle, but I've already won. You've got to understand that. The only way you can understand is to understand Christ, is to be Christ conscious. What is to be Christ conscious? To be Christ conscious is to know who Christ is, is to know what Christ did, is to know that Christ has always overcame the world, is to know that you are more than a conqueror, is to know that the joy of the Lord is your strength, is to know that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. You should know that even though they may fall 10,000 on your left and 10,000 on your right, no harm shall come near your dwelling place because you are the Lord's possession and you are in the Lord. That is what is to know to be Christ conscious is to be aware of who you are. We need to be aware of who we are. Even as we continue to live our lives in 2019, even as we continue to be in our workplaces, we ought to know who we are. We, we, we ought to win souls just by the way that we are living, just by the way of carrying the presence of God. We need to be aware. We need to be Christ conscious. You can read for me on... Same chapter, verse 17 and 18. Thank you, Jesus.
That's right. The hope of glory and the inheritance in the saints. I'd like to believe that I'm addressing the saints this evening. I'm addressing the saints of God. I'm addressing the signs, the sons of God that cry unto God and say, Abba. So this year we are not stopping here. We ought to continue to say, God, open my eyes so that I may see who you are. You haven't even reached the eye. We haven't even touch the ice the tip of the iceberg we need to go deeper we need to go deeper so that our eyes may be opened paul as much as he wrote half of the testament of the of the new testament he said that he wishes to know christ and him he he, he wanted to know him more how much more us we haven't even written anything we ought to seek god like it's like never before we ought to pray and say god won't you open my spiritual eyes won't you open my spiritual ears? Won't I be able to hear you tonight? Won't I be able to hear you in this situation? Can I hear you even as you speak to me? We ought to be like that. Tonight, I just want to encourage us that even as we go, let us never, ever grow weary of who we are. We must never let the light that is in us go dim. We know that God has made us in his image. He said it at the beginning of creator of creation let us make men and let us make them in our image so that they may rule and subdue so that they may have dominion as you live in this place you ought to understand your position you ought to understand that you have dominion you ought to understand that you are a ruler you ought to understand that you are a co-creator with God anything that you speak it will come to be anything that you say it will be you you ought to understand that tonight I'm just here to encourage somebody that please child of God don't forget who you are don't forget who you are can the reader please open for me in the book of James James chapter 1 we we, we wanna we wanna see something quickly in the book of James Ch book of James chapter 1 from verse 23 hallelujah thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Can you read from verse 22? Amen. Amen. But be doers of the word and not hearers of only deceiving yourselves. How can you do what you don't know? What, how can you do what you don't know? We ought to read the word of God. We ought to read the word of God because that's where we learn who we are. We ought to read the word of God as you go home, position it in your heart. 2019, tell yourself, Lord, I want to know you more. Lord, I want to know you more. The only way you can know God is if you are in the word of God. You cannot know God from just coming here on Sunday or going to prayer on Monday because on Monday, pray, we are just praying or going to Bible, Bible study on Wednesday. Bible study is just an hour. You cannot know God unless you you cannot do God's word I know unless you know you know it unless you've read it and it says I like this part it says that uh, like a man for you like a man who looks at himself in the mirror and then as soon as he goes away he forgets who he is so if you are a child of God if you are a believer and you do not have the word of God Every time you leave church, you forget who you are. Every time you leave prayer, you forget who you are. Every time you leave the Wednesday study, you forget who you are. If 
to know who you are, you need to read the word of God. To be Christ conscious, you need to read the word of God. Your mirror is the word of God. You cannot know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you daily unless you've read it in here. The Holy Spirit cannot reveal anything to you unless you've read it in here. You cannot come to the full comprehension of who you are unless you read it in here. For long, the world will continue to tell you who you are. The world will continue to tell you, to judge you from your past. To tell you that, oh, are you not, is it not this one who was a drunk? Yes, my brother, but I have been saved. I am now a chosen generation. I am royalty. I am peculiar. God wants to show his excellence in me. Yes, that's who I am. That's who I am. You will go around being defined by people unless you are in the word of God. Unless you are marinating yourself with the word of God. Your eyes will be opened. Your spiritual ears will be opened. Because God can speak to you. I know most of us, we want an audible voice from God. No, you're wrong, my brother, my sister. Let's not start there. God speaks through his word. God speaks through his word. Many people are going to the pastor. Pastor, what is God saying to me? My sister, my brother, God is saying something in the air. From Genesis to Revelation, he's revealing himself. He's revealing himself. He's revealing himself. You will not know that you have dominion unless you greet it in the air. In the word of God. So this year, 2019, may scripture be your friend, your best friend. May you tell yourself, even though 10 days is over, now I'm starting 10 days of proper reading the word of God, dwelling in the word of God. When you go to God, when you go before him, you will know exactly what is the hope of your calling. The one that the, our father speaks of, the one that we speak of. People of God, to know God. I've got this book here that was written by Baba. Human beings, they cannot grow without pressure. There's a chapter here, chapter 8. Overcome your mind. Overcome your mind. Baba says, some people think they are going to enjoy when Jesus comes. But I believe it is our time to have dominion in the kingdom. <laughs> it is time now. No, not the second coming now. The time is now to have dominion. The time is now. We ought to renew our mind. We, we, we ought to take off. We ought to take off the old man. The things that you were taught as a child. That you were nobody. You ought to take it out. You ought to read the word. You ought to renew your mind. You ought to know that the only way you're going to be renewed. The only way you're going to enjoy. Is if you know who you are. And it's if you know in the, everything you need to know. It is in here. It's in the word of God. It's in the word of God. Uh, he goes on in another, in another page here and he says that some people are like they want to be in Gilgal, the place of beginning where it all started. Yeah, I got saved. Yes, I'm in here now. No, yes, my brother, you got saved. We thank God. Now there's more. Now there's more. You cannot say you are in the kingdom when you are still right there on the surface. You need to go deeper. You need to know your God deeper. You need to want to another level. You need to be provoked. Elder Chuma was saying that yesterday we need to have the zeal. We want the Holy Spirit to fellowship even with us at home. Not only at church. It must not be an occasion. It cannot be an occasion to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It can can't be a once-off thing. Can it be an everyday? Because when you walk, the presence of God is supposed to is supposed to be all around you. When you are sleeping, the presence of God, wherever you are, you going in the boardroom, the presence of God is with you. Wherever you are in the marketplace, the presence of God is with you. Because Baba says we are supposed to enjoy the kingdom of God now. Now. 
now, not later. Now, the kingdom of God, we're supposed to enjoy it later. In another chapter, he says, the problem with other believers is that they've won souls for God. Yeah, we won souls for God. Yeah, in 2013, I brought my, uh, my friend. My friend, it's 2019. It's 2019. We cannot be talking about 2013. People out there, they need God. People out there, they need God. People out there, they need believers that are strengthened in God. People out there need to know that Christ is alive. Christ must come alive in you, child of God. Christ must come alive in you, child of God. When you walk, Christ must just come alive in you. Yes, yes, this year. No more saying yes. When we were in Zimbabwe, some of us have never been to Zimbabwe. We want to know what you are doing here in Cape Town. We want to know what you are doing here. God is still God. God has not changed. So don't tell me about your God back then. No, 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 no. I want us to be encouraged. Yes, young generation, young generation. Before you write your exam, you know you've got the Holy Spirit. You know that God is in you. Greater is he that is in me. What you have studied, God will, God will reveal it to you. You need to, you need to have, fr your friends have got to admire the God that is in you. They've got to want the God that is in you. The reason we're not winning any, any worldly people is because we don't have a, they, they see, they just see you. They just like, ah. Uh, if this, if, this is, if this is what God does, then I'm okay. No, no. We, 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 need to, we need to get upset, people of God. We need to get angry, people of God. We need, to get, we need to make sure when you leave your house that you have been in so much presence of God that when you go, people are just like, oh, my sister, yeah. Oh, wait, what church did you say you go to? You bring them here. You bring them here with your fire. You bring them here with your fire. This year, we don't want people that don't know God. We don't want people that hear of God in the pulpit. We want people that know God for themselves. We want people that know God for themselves so that they can go out there and bring us more souls. We need more people in this auditorium. People out there, they are dying. Everything is happening. And we are here being complacent. We need to stop being complacent. We need to understand the God that is in us. We need to understand the God that is in us. We need to understand the God that is in us. Jesus, we need to understand the God in us. We need to understand who Christ is. As we finish these 10 days, wonderful servants of the Lord. As we finish them, we just want to have a revelation. We want the eyes of our spirit to be enlightened so that we may know the hope of our calling. Where we have read, excuse me, where we have read in the book of Ephesians, it says that at the beginning of creation, we were predestined. Everything in Christ everything, all spiritual gifts, all of them. It doesn't say some, and it doesn't say the spiritual gifts are for the pastor, the spiritual gifts are for the overseer, the spiritual gifts are for those people who are sitting in the front. So long as you are in Christ, you've got the spiritual gifts. So long as you are in Christ and you know your God, you've got the spiritual gifts. So tonight, tonight, Bazalwana, I just want to encourage us that we may know the God that is in us, the God that, we are, we are, that is walking with us on a daily basis. We, if you don't know him, may you go home. I hope I've provoked you tonight. May you go home and say, God, show yourself. You know, like what Baba, when Baba heard about the gospel, he went to a bush and he said, Creator, if you are there, show yourself to me. I want people in here to go home and say, God of my father, 
father, the God of my father Ezekiel, the God of my father Ezekiel, show yourself to me. I want to know you. I want to know you. I don't want to hear about you. God of Ezekiel. Oh, you can say it in Shona. Mwari wa Ezekiel. Mwari wa Ezekiel. Mwari wa Ezekiel. I want to know you. I want to know you. I want to know you. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, come on, somebody. 2019, it cannot be the same. 2019 cannot be the same. Come on. Come on. The God of Ezekiel. The God of Ezekiel. Say, tonight, we want to know you, God. We want to know you, God. We want to know you on another deeper level. Oh, rakete keshia kata. Riende na boko shia karawaka riende na boko hando. Rekete keshia kata. Oh, yes. The God of our Father. Oh, the God of our Father Ezekiel. Oh, this yeah, city district cannot be the same. City district cannot be complacent. City district cannot remain the same. We, God, you are setting us on a trajectory. We know we are going deeper. Oh, we are going going deeper. Oh, we are raising the bar. Oh, you are raising the bar. Oh, somebody ought to praise God. Somebody has got to thank God tonight. Somebody has got to thank God tonight. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank him. Love him, love him, love him. Oh, somebody, love your God. He wants a relationship with you. He has given you all things. Oh, rakete keshi Oh, we want to know you. Oh, we want to be conscious of who you are, oh God. The God of our Father Ezekiel. Oh, we thank you tonight, Father. Oh, we thank you, our Father. Oh, we glorify your name, oh God. Oh, we thank you. Oh, Rakete ke shia karabaka shie kete rekete ke shia karakari endere boko shia kata. Oh, we thank you, oh God, the God of our Father Ezekiel. Oh, the God who showed Himself to our Father Ezekiel. Oh, may You show Yourself, oh God. Oh, may You show Yourself in us, oh God. Oh, may You show Yourself, oh God. Oh, the God of our Father Ezekiel. Oh, riende 